Uh, so look, we know that Hurricane Ian struck the, the southern coast of Florida and really took out a lot of things. And what we're seeing out of that is bipartisan support. So President Biden visited the storm-stricken community in southwest Florida this week. And during the tour of the damage from the hurricane, he started pledging billions of dollars for recovery relief. And he's... <laughs> doing it up for your boy, Ron DeSantis, and saying, I think he's done a good job. And while saying that in his remarks, he also said, we have very different political philosophies, but we've worked hard, okay? And we're working together in dealing with this crisis. And, you know, we're going to work together to make it happen. Both men have seen, you know, seen, you know, like they're on the same page, like they're on the same team with this. Um, and it also doubles down on, President Biden's uh, remarks that he's going to calm the tensions and really work across the aisle. So there is some political news in that. I'm glad to see this. Uh, you know, <laughs> DeSantis might be putting a busload of migrants uh, to Delaware soon after this. But I think right now they're on the same page to making sure that Floridians get that help that they need, that disaster relief that they need. So uh, good for both of them. You know, I will say this, it's not hard to get along when you basically have access to unlimited taxpayer funds and you're able to divvy them up. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. you know, it's it's kind of easy to get along, right? It isn't, it isn't like, oh, okay, here's this small bucket of funds that's very limited. And now, you know, DeSantis has an idea how to distribute them and FEMA has an idea or whatever. I mean, these guys, man, disasters, we print money. That's like the easiest come up ever. You sit there, smile kiss babies everything because it's like the pot is huge no need to argue right well at least that's how i see it i couldn't agree with you more i mean let us